was made flesh and dwelt among what? Which world was made flesh? The world that was spoken from the beginning. In the beginning was the world, and the world was with God, and the world was what? Was God. So are we, are, we, are we saying that Christ now became God? Is Christ God? Church, is Christ God? Is Christ God? Let me get it one more time. Is Christ God? Christ is God. There is a lot of mission and confusion here. And this is where many people get it wrong. Amen. Yeah. But John told us that that same God that was in the beginning, and in the beginning it was, it was his world, and the world was with him. The same God with him in the beginning. He said that same world, it was that same world that became us. How did he become flesh? In the womb of Mary. He became flesh and doing where among us. Emmanuel. God with us. So Peter saw him. Matthew saw him. Herod saw him. Heard about him. Amen. Luke saw him. Susanna saw him. Mary Magdalene. Hosanna. And many of them and those that were fed with how many loaves? Five loaves and two fishes. They saw him. He was now with us. That was God with us. So he put on the flesh because that is the only way he can live here on earth. Spirit can never exist on earth. The only way spirit operates and operates very well is through woman. You must need the flesh to possess. No eye have seen the spirit before. I want to get that here. There are realms of the angels. Realms where the angels live and operate. And there are realms where woman lives and operates with the body, with the spirit. And that is why you are made with the soul, with the spirit, and with the body. The body you put on is a casing. The real you is the you inside of you. Are we together here? This is just a casing. So this casing can lead you to hell. This casing can deny you of your destiny. This casing can cause you a lot of trouble. That is why the casing must be subjected. As we are studying, when the three Hebrew guys went to Babylon and they were provided for the king's needs with the wine the king would drink and they made the king would eat but they told themselves Daniel chapter 1 verse 8 and Daniel purported in his heart that he would not defile himself defiling himself is subjecting his flesh under control I want to get ahead so that he will not be defiled this flesh is like enjoyment I want to do that here. Uh -huh. So this flesh will deny you not to pray. Because the flesh wants to sleep. I want to do that here. The flesh will deny you not to fast. Because the flesh wants to eat. Whenever you eat, it's not the spirits. If you want to feed your spirits, you study the Bible. When you study the Bible, you are feeding the spirit. When you are praying, you are feeding the spirit. So the flesh could lead you to pay on the fire. You fornicate when you're not supposed to fornicate. That's why the Bible says whoever that fornicates sin against us, his body. And it will separate you from God. So every sin committed is on the flesh. I want to get that here. Every sin committed is on the flesh. And that is all that is. After you finish your assignment, I finish my assignment, the flesh will not go with us. In the temple of an eye, there will be a change of body. It is not this body that will put on. Hallelujah. Because this body cannot transport. It can't go. This body remains there. So that
that is a change of body. So, in the tomb of our heart. So, when Jesus assembled his disciples and he was to, 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 to ascend, he, he asked the people to, to the upper room and waist. Then he wore him as a glory, being glorified. Hallelujah. With a, a different nature. Amen. Amen. The same thing happened to us, will happen to us. We we'll put on a different body. That is the body that will enable us to go to heaven to prepare crisis. Not this body. This is a corruptible body. It's corrupt. We we'll put on an incorruptible. Hallelujah. Amen. Incorruptible. So the Bible is much like prophet man. When you gain the whole world, the flesh. The flesh will want to be the whole world. It is not a spirit, it is the flesh. He will want to be the whole world. The flesh. So the flesh is a timer that drives you away from the presence of God. The flesh. It was the flesh that was devoured. When Satan invaded the time of Eden, it was the flesh. Not the spirit. We are of the spirits, so we must be men of the spirits, led by spirits. Those that are led by the spirits, they are what? The sons of God. The sons of God. The sons of God. So Jesus said, as our own Christian redeemer, he paid for us. Hallelujah. He was not for the power. No any other body was for the power. Just like in the case of poor. He was the one found among the people, among the family member that was qualified. He has the world, he has everything, he has everything to be. So now I say you need to return. Returning back is returning to your maker, returning to God. You just have to return back. Oh. 